guys, how's it going? I don't know, but hello. Today, we're going to be doing a haul. And I'm so excited because part of this haul is my camera. Obviously, I can't show you. I'm filming on it right now. But this camera was, oh, it was something I've been wanting for so long. Not just for YouTube because if you know me, I want to become a filmmaker and like a director, go, go on with film and stuff. So this camera I feel like is a good investment and I could start making maybe short movies for my channel and putting up things other than makeup and stuff. So yeah, that's like my first item of my haul. So I just wanted to get that out of the way. And I'm gonna start with BH Cosmetics. BH Cosmetics is a very, very affordable brand. I think it's out of the US and they collaborate with a lot of YouTubers. They're a pretty well-known brand for, they're not really, I don't know if they're in drugstores anymore, but for sure you can get them online because that's where I got mine because nothing ever comes to Canada. <laughs> like, Wet n Wild isn't in Canada, NYX is barely in Canada unless you're like, you're in a really big city. So like that, so. Beach Cosmetics, I think, surely you can get it online. So yeah. But the first item from there is the Take Me Back to Brazil palette, which I've already shown in a video in my winged, colorful, purple and yellow cut crease, half cut crease, winged eyeliner look. It has all the colorful shadows, as you can see. <sighs> this palette is just so fun, and I've been wanting a palette like this for a long time because I just wanted to create more looks for you guys. Maybe I can do a Halloween look with more crazy colors, so like, stuff like that for the channel, which would be really cool, and it could broaden my horizons a lot. So, that was a for sure thing, because I knew Rachel Cantu um, uses palette a lot, and Madison, oh, I forget how to spell her, pronounce her last name, Ashley. I'm so sorry if I pronounced that wrong, but those two talk about the palette all the time, and they rave about how it's really good, so, hmm, so I thought it was a good investment. The second thing from there, it's not an eyeshadow palette, it's the, well it's not an eyeshadow palette, it's like a deluxe palette. It's the Carly Bible Deluxe Edition collaboration with them. Oh, I almost dropped it! You get 15 shadows and you get 6 highlighters. And this is more of like a neutral palette and they have highlighters from goldie to pink, from really really fair to all the way down dark. So I feel like this highlighter, this palette is kind of for everyone because obviously I couldn't really, I could put those on my lid but I couldn't use those as a highlighter but I feel like this palette is kind of just for everyone, everyone has a use for it in every way so I feel like this is a really good palette and also I'm a sucker for neutrals so. BH Cosmetics is well known for their great affordable brushes and I got a whole crap ton, I'm not going to go through them all. But a good portion of them were the eye brushes I got. I'll link down the stuff in the description that I bought, and my nose is itchy, in the description that I got because there's a couple different eye sets I got it from. But I definitely recommend. I've used them for, I think, a week now. I've really enjoyed them. They're really, they work really well. Stuff like that. So if you're looking for affordable brushes, go to BH. And along with their eye brushes, I got a lot of face brushes that came like with the um, the sets I got. So like, you know, the regular powder brushes, the contour brushes, the foundation like flat brushes, stuff like that. So, kind of same thing. So that's all I got from BH, I think, unless I'm forgetting something. I think that's it. And then next I'm going to go on to shophush.com. Shophush is a retailer that sells makeup like elf nyx i don't know if they sell it for cheaper but i don't know i don't know i'll look it up and i'll put it on the screen somewhere but they sell things like nyx elf and they do have some other things like the cara palette which i feel like is a dupe for the morphe I'm not for sure, but it is this color of eyeshadow palette that I got. I forget how much this was. I don't know, I'll put it on the screen somewhere, but it was not that expensive, and I feel like it's exactly like the Morphe, the colorful one that's always sold out. It's the, this is the Cara 
ESO2 35 color eyeshadow palette and it's really good actually so mm -hmm. maybe save some money instead of going to Morphe and then next on the list was just this silicone brush cleaning mat it's just you can just stick it in your sink and then clean your brushes I don't know I've always wanted one of these because I have I'm collecting a few brush like a lot of brushes now so it takes me a good maybe like hour and a half to clean my brushes and stuff like that so this really sped up the process before this it took me probably a good two hours because I know that's not that much only maybe like two hours to two and a half hours because I don't know if I want to get more tedious with it but yeah this really spread out my process because I was watching friends the other night also I take a long time washing brushes because I watch friends and um obviously I'm paying more attention to friends than washing the brushes but if you're looking for something like this it's awesome get this or honestly take a binder and use hot glue and just make like cool designs on it and it, that would be really good to wash your brushes too it's really easy that's what I did before I got this and it worked pretty well so definitely try out that DIY next thing I got is the Dabu eco lifestyle eco lifestyle gold essence it's this bottle I don't know I don't know it was $20 American and you get 150 milliliters this is made in Korea I don't know I saw this and it kind of reminds me of the Guerlain primer that like Chati and like Jeffrey and like Nikki were all talking about how it like firms your face I haven't tried it yet but it looked like that so updates I will I'm probably gonna use this as a primer in my next video so I'll give you guys you guys will know after I do that but yeah it looked really interesting and I wanted to try it and also I was running out of primer so and next thing I got was the brush cleaning sponge have you ever seen this thing I don't know here let me grab a brush quick so so say I'm doing my eyeshadow and I really just don't really want to get a new brush so I just quickly go in here and take off my color and just swirl it it takes off the color for you a lot of makeup artists have this because it's just easier on the go instead of like having to clean your brush all the time on new clients and I honest I want to start doing like a free man, freelance makeup artist this year so if you guys ever need any makeup done hit me up maybe we can do like a trial and stuff <laughs> I know I'm thinking of doing it I'm not for sure yet but yeah if you're up if you're near where I live if people who know me you know where I live if you near me hit me up on Instagram or something like that <laughs> um yeah so that was like an honestly self promo it went from product to self promo <laughs> Um, the next thing I got from Shop Hush was the medium brown um, pomade. It's by the same company as the Ashraf Alcara. And I got this because, as you know, I dyed my hair. Um, so I wanted like a different eyebrow color, maybe like darker. But I feel like this is the exact same color as taupe. But it's a little bit more warm tone. Okay, so now I'm going to go on to clothes. I shop on this website called Zoffel. I'm pretty it's a pretty famous website, I'm pretty sure everyone knows about it. But I got this bathing suit. It's a lot more complicated looking than it actually is. It's like a wrap thing and it like goes around and like ties in the back. I tried it on and it looked so good. The only thing is though I haven't went swimming yet, so I don't know how oil it does in the water. But it looks cute out of it, so yeah. The next thing I got from Zoffel. Maybe this was from Romwe. Okay, the outfits I'm showing are either from Zoffel or Romwe. I forget because I ordered these a long time ago because I was expecting all this makeup to come at the kind of the exact same time, but that did not happen. So forgive my apologies. I don't know if I can link these, but they're either from Zoffel or Romwe, which are both really affordable websites, so shouldn't have a problem. This is a t-shirt, black t-shirt that says girl power on it. and. This has been one of my favorites lately. I've been wearing it a lot and I feel like it's just a simple, trendy outfit that could go really well with anything. Next thing I got was this black t-shirt again with like, with this symbol on it. I don't know. <laughs> and 
it's really nice actually it came out a like smaller than I hoped but I still like it and it still fits me but yeah hint for rom wheat or zoffel order up order a size up because all the pants I ordered I ordered a size up like I followed all the things I followed all these reviews and all of a sudden I got the pants they fit physically not comfortably do you know what I mean <laughs> okay we're gonna finish up a little quick because my camera's gonna die next I got was this sports bra it just says like peace love and flirt on it it's not really a this is a green sweater and stuff like that so nothing interesting okay I'm sorry I had to wrap this up really quick but my camera's gonna die um hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys enjoyed me and the makeup I got Maybe comment down below some suggestions you guys want to see because I have a new camera and I can do more stuff maybe. So yeah, if you guys like this, <laughs> I just said that. If you guys like me, subscribe. If you like this video, like it. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye. <gasps>